Hello and welcome to Queen Anne Nursery Project Part 2. If you haven't seen Part 1, you can find it in the video description below. This is where we left off the last time. After making the pilot holes, we are ready to screw it all in together. And when it's done, we can test fit the foam to the frame. Alright, so it seems okay, but as you can see, we need to get rid of this piece right here. Try to go as straight as you can, it can be challenging to cut the foam. Now we need to measure out the perfect distance so we can sit our frame, our nursery, in the middle of the wall. Now we need to make the the sides for the box so the foam is hidden all the way inside. I had to get rid of those connections that are still left over on the panels, but if you use different type of wood, I, I doubt you have to do that. Remember, it's not gonna be perfect, because we only use hand tools. If you have a table saw, it will look way better. We need to clean up the edges for aesthetics and also so you don't cut yourself. And now I'm drilling the holes on the sides so I can screw the sides to the frame. Don't forget to countersink. Countersinking will improve your project greatly because the heads of the screws won't stick out. So remember to always use countersinks. And that's the whole frame done. Now we just need to fit in the foam and test fit the test tubes.
if they are going in too hard, just go again with the drill. Some of the test tubes were going in way too hard, so I had to go again with the drill. And as you can see, they go in way better. And that is it. Now our nursery is ready to be hung on the wall. I have put in the screws a little bit, so that when I place the nursery against the wall, it will leave marks, showing me where I have to drill. But also notice that I have placed a spirit level on top, so when I do this, the holes will be at the same height. As you can see here, these are the marks that were left. I marked off the drill with the tape so that I know how deep I have to drill. And this is a handy little tip. When you're drilling in the wall, use something like a sticky note, fold it and stick it underneath where you are about to drill. It will collect most of the dust. As you can see here, Now we just screw in the box into the wall. And that is the project finished. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you liked the video, leave a like, if you disliked it, dislike it. Anyways, I guess, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!